Sí, Senegal. Senegal. Oh, nice, nice. Mira, te he dejado. Arena Mix. En, en la caixa 10 euros, ¿vale? Good afternoon, good afternoon, guys. It's been a while. Like, I haven't got this vlog camera out for so long. Like, it feels like I'm doing something new. Of course, yesterday I vlogged on my phone, but today I promised you guys I'm taking the camera. So, here it is. Whole new setup. Shout out to my brother Aaron for getting me this shock on mic for my birthday. It's so sweet. It's a really thoughtful gift. We are. This is much better. <laughs> Guys, I forgot how to vlog. Can you imagine? A whole Anna Champong forgot how to vlog. I am getting ready to go to the beach with Kevin. It's, it's actually very late. Like, this is a proper vacation. We rest so much. What do you think? Yeah. Instead of a vacation. We sleep, we eat, we chill. We sleep, we eat, we chill. Eat, sleep, eat, repeat. Eat, sleep, repeat. Mm -hmm. mm. And a bit to work out now on the beach. And a bit what? You're work gonna work out. out. Let me take you to the beach. I'm taking you guys along with my vlog camera, the whole big setup. It's been some time, but um, you know what? I love you guys. I'm gonna continue doing this. Not until I die. Sorry for my mouthful. Let me show you Malaga. So this is the street, our street. This is our Airbnb. I'll give you a proper tour very soon. Right now, we're actually taking public transport to go to the beach. So this is the place where the bus is. Um, like I told you, my brother and his girlfriend have been here for some days before we came. So they know the ropes and they're now explaining to us how to get to the beach by bus because walking is like 30 minutes. I actually didn't mind it yesterday, but today I feel like, nah, babes, let's explore public transport. So you also meet local people. You have the feeling more that you're in a country. I feel like if you take Uber and Bolt all the time, shout out to them anyways, it's amazing. But when you, you're in local transport, you meet people, you get more feeling of that you're in that country. That's how I feel anyway. So yeah. So I think this is quite a nice street. You see, all the buildings almost are like this color, beige type of color. I think because there's a lot of sand. When we came with the airplane, there was also a lot of sand. And then they put lots of greenery. I love that. You know how I love greenery. So maybe this is a typical street in Malaga, which looks a lot nicer. So here the bus comes. I have to wear face masks. Can I have this? No, we have to take bus street, but I just want my face mask so that I have it on and I follow the rules. Beautiful. This is just nature combined with architecture. You see, Spain is quite hot, like it's actually very hot out here. And then look at these beautiful trees, which makes it so like cool where are we walking oh i love this i love I this love it. i think it's it's, it's, it's a city, it's a city that, that built the trees tree, right mate. build the trees <laughs> look at my english the Plant city it. built the trees <laughs> the city planted the trees this is just beautiful i wish accra could have like a maybe you should they should make me like a nature how do you say that governor of nature let me build trees everywhere Beautiful. Beautiful. Imagine this. Here is the city, and then you go this way, and here is the beach. Love it. Just love it. Isn't this amazing? And people actually stay on the beach like the whole day. This is such a wonderful city to live in. Like just to be on the beach. Look at the stretch. It's going all the way over there. What a lovely country. And it's so hot the whole day. So that's why I didn't want to go to the beach in the afternoon because I just probably thought that it's going to be way too hot. So let me go a little bit in the evening, right before dinner. Hello, hello. Becky home. So we just had a swim and right now we're getting ready to go and go for dinner somewhere. I don't know, somewhere of the restaurants here, there's something called patatas bravas, which we had yesterday. Basically it's small like potatoes, which are very nice. And 
reveal is called the kids. Like, we just talk to Sophie and Micah to see how they're doing. And we just relax. Can we listen to you in the sense? Which country? Is it fragile? What country are you? I'm here. I'm here in Senegal. You're in Africa? I'm in Senegal. Senegal. Oh, nice, nice. But you're here? Where are you? Ghana. Ghana? Oui. Ouais, Ami de Pelé, nous n'avons pas Ghana. Ami de Pelé. Ami de Pelé. Je suis bien avec lui. Au revoir, Nigeria, monsieur. Oh, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. 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 Ami de Pelé. Tu sais que c'est mon frère, Ami de Pelé. Ami de Pelé. Imagine ce qu'un Accra peut être comme si nous avions des arbres. The only thing that we need actually. I'm just amazed. Okay, this is a real nice roundabout. But if there were trees in the city, the city would be so much more beautiful. Can you say it in English, please? What did you say here? Well, in, in Holland, taxis are like starting with 7 euro 50. And I think after. One kilometer, it's like 10 cents per minute. And something like that. More. No, 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 sure. Definitely more. So the taxis in Spain are relatively cheap, and then even boats, like the taxi was cheap, and then the boats is like a five or let's say it's a 10 minute ride, and it costs about five euros or something. So that's really good. Really good, cheaper than the bus. But public transport is also really good. Like public transport is actually really good here. Yeah, I guess so. And I think we live in a good neighborhood. Okay, guys, watch the globe real quick. I'm just gonna dress for dinner and then get back to you. Done. Okay, so I quickly braided my hair, put on a wig, fix some makeup. <laughs> like literally only mascara. No, I can't do makeup, guys, but I'm trying. So this is the fit. A little gypsy. I had like accessories, but I forgot them at home, unfortunately. So this is what we have to deal with. Let's go! So we are getting another taxi because everybody's now dressed and we're going for dinner. So coming from the beach was five euro and then coming here was three euro. This is just so great. And we're in Europe, guys. This is Europe. Wow. I'm baffled, so honestly. Sad. This is beautiful. I don't know what exactly the, this is, but it's a very beautiful museum. building. Oh, it's a new beauty. Okay. Are we still going to the Picasso Museum? Yeah. Definitely. Aww. Look at this lovely. Honestly guys, maybe Spain is like a good country for me to live because my natural clock does not really work in the mornings and I love to take a nap. So maybe Kevin, we need to move to Spain because uh, I love these evenings. It is nice for the summer and for a holiday, but that's <laughs> for it. That's it about, uh, about it. About I just it. want to get out of Poland, honestly. I love the fact that it's still outside, it's still warm, people are lovely, people are lively, people are up, people are maybe having dinner by themselves it's just it's just so lively i loved it wow this is beautiful i can't really see the sign and it seems like everybody here is a tourist so i think this is like brewing so like back in the days when there was like asians asian rome or people and honestly let me just not talk because I just don't know what it is basically. I'll Google it and then put it into the screen because if I'm just now going to tell you this and then it's not true, then I'm a bad vlogger. So I don't know, but it's really beautiful. And I'm really happy that we have been dinner here. This is so nice. This is so nice. He's almost holding his hand. Like I thought it was Kevin. Oh my God. Like we're so hot. Can you see? I'm sweating.
Kevin and I switch plates. This one is always nicer. Mm. Honestly, like I'm so full, my belly is just crazy. <sighs> but see how lively it is? Everybody's still out and about and having fun and it's 11 o'clock right now. It's still very nice that the city does this and that it's just free and that's just open in the evening. So nice. And it's only the smell in the city is like, it's, it's, it's a smell like hot garbage everywhere. Something to get used to. Quarter to 12 right now, we, we can still shop. How nice is this? This is like my dream country to live in. Who doesn't want to shop at 12? Fly guy. <laughs> you rang? Can you you rang again? Can you come? Can you come? Yes. It's too small. I'm taking the fan that I need, but you know, this hat is supposed to like go all the way over your head. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Not too high, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need to buy this. Guys, as much as I love the fact that time here is different, I'm getting tired because it's like 12 o'clock. Normally I sleep. And here, the whole city is still alive. Maybe it's also that it's very hot and I drank a little alcohol. Normally I don't usually drink alcohol, so... I don't know, I feel a little weird. So should we go and have another drink and maybe some ice cream or should we just go sleep? I don't know. Honestly, the camera doesn't really do justice to whatever I see here, but this park is so romantic. Just imagine taking your girlfriend, just sitting, hanging around in the evening. It seems like there's so much to do in Malaga at night. I love that, I love that. And although I'm still tired, but I feel like there's so much to do. I wish one of you could show me around because I love seeing like a city through a local person's eyes because as a tourist, you can't really see that much, I feel, but it's still very nice. Guys, I'm a little tipsy. I'm not gonna drink alcohol again. It just doesn't really make any sense. Whew. And it's really late. So I wanna go to bed, but I also wanna chill. I think Spanish architecture is so pretty. Like I love this building. I would like to know what it is. And then the fact that they incorporated the hills with their architecture and then trees all around and also a lot of playgrounds for kids and gyms and outside life. I think that's what it is. Outside life is really encouraged here. Like beaches and public spaces. Very, very wonderful to see. I hope that one day this could be Africa because the weather would definitely <laughs> be nicer. It's really like hot in a different type of way here. So again, I said no to Kevin's ice cream. Oh, wow. So nice. Is my nice one? That's the one that does it. But mm. I don't really like chocolate that much. Mine is chocolate mousse. Mm. But it's not ice cream. Mm. It's actual chocolate mousse. I want an ice cream because I'm so hot. Oh. It's very different like normally this square would be full of like maybe let's say drunken people or people who only go out but right now it's like a mixture there's families there's people with dogs there's people going crazy <laughs> 
tengo, yo tengo alegría, soy como una ave que va volando. Ando cantando, ande la vida, ande la vida. La más de fiesta. Mira, te he dejado. Arena Mix. El, en la caixa 10 euros, ¿vale? Yo dejo ya el testamento y todo. No, ya, ya. This is a um, messenger of my, my mother, eh? Oh, sure. De solo la vía. Oh, de la que te tengo en la vía. Soy como una ave que va volando. Que no te dio ni un pelo. So this is talking about maintenance. Do you see those people there? They are standing and they are cleaning everything with water. So what somebody told me is that basically every night uh, they're cleaning the streets with water and bleach. You can actually smell it. That is such, such perfect maintenance. Like Amsterdam, come on. I'm not even talking about crap because I cried yet. Yeah. Amsterdam. This, this, this you should do, not every day, but at least once a week, clean the streets with water and bleach. Amazing, I'm so shiny and clear. The smell here is different. Like, like I said, in the parks and around, it smells like, like bums, like people who haven't showered for very long. And then because of the, uh, the humidity, I guess that comes in the air. So maybe that's why they do the cleaning. And, Obviously, they can't do the cleaning everywhere, but at least in this type of areas, there's no smell at all and the streets are very clean. And then this shopping area is like covered, so that is not too hot in the sun. Love it. Love the maintenance. It's now one o'clock and people are still getting ice cream. As much as I love it, I wonder like, when do these people sleep? Like if you work or own this type of shop? I don't know. I wonder like, of course there's siesta, which I still don't know like what time is siesta. Between 12 and 3. Oh, like but like if you own this and you have kids who wake up very early, it's, it's, go it's just going to be so tiresome, right? I think I think they have a lot of help from the family. Hmm. That's what I assume. Sure. But I'm sure that, you know, they make a lot of money because life is different here. And especially at night, everybody wants to get an ice cream. Like, I could actually go for another one now. Really? Mind you, I threw away the um, the mousse, mousse, the chocolate mousse, because I thought it was ice cream, but it wasn't warm. So I wasn't feeling it. I ate like quarter of it and I threw it away. These kids are still outside, well behaved. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, the battery is about to die. I hope you really like this video. We're just walking towards uh, the place we can get the taxi and then we'll go home, have a shower and rest. I see you tomorrow or maybe I'll take a break and then I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Love you. Okay, so you guys here are a lot of cockroaches there's one there and over there and over there they're always in pairs but the thing is if you step on one they will lay a lot of eggs on your shoe so if you put that shoe in your suitcase and you get home all the eggs will come out and your whole suitcase will be filled with cockroaches so this is a, just a reminder for you to never step on a cockroach because that is what is going to happen